Welcome into the 24-7 Sports YouTube page. I'm Emily Proud, and joining me here is Coach Carl Reed. We have a lot to talk about with the transfer portal yes. officially opening up on December 5th. We here are expecting it to be the busiest transfer portal to date, so you are here to get us ready for it. Yes. I think when a lot of people look at the transfer portal, they look at it from one angle, right? Players wanting to enter the portal and seek greener pastures. Mm -hmm. But you've brought up the other side of things, and that's coaches encouraging their own players to hit the portal. What goes on there? Well, when coaches recognize that a player has come into his program and he's not contributing, and the pressure is on them to win at the level that it is, they call a lot of these young men in and they push them on. People must remember, Emily, that scholarships are one-year renewable contracts. So the coach has within his rights the ability to move on from a player if that young man is not contributing. And so if you need help on the offensive line, defensive line, linebacker, anywhere on your roster, and you feel like you have guys that are dead weight, that aren't playing, that aren't contributing, it is very common for coaches to go to those players and ask them to move on and recommend that they go into other programs. What message does that send to players wanting to be a part of your program if it's, it's cutthroat right that, like that, it, right? It sends the message that it's just business. And so when you're dealing with these coaches and you're dealing in recruiting, you need to understand this. It is not the old adage where they say it's not a four-year decision, it's a 40-year decision. This is a four-minute decision. You better go in ready to play right now. And if you aren't ready to play and if you don't make an impact by your second year on campus, there's a great chance that you're going to be asked to move on. And so you have to take this very seriously, like the business that it is. This is not a place for you to hang out for four years and steal a college degree on the football coach's dime. It's too much urgency to win. It's too much pressure on coaches to perform. They are going to move you along if you do not come in and contribute and play big time football right from the start. I think the idea with the transfer portal was player empowerment, was to give them more say on what they do in their college decisions. But this kind of sounds like an unintended consequence of all of this, right? Is it gives the coaches a little bit more power too with what they want to do with their rosters? Well, it always gave, the coaches always had the ability to get rid of you after one year because scholarships have always been one year renewable. But what players have to understand and coaches too, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So you can get affected on either side of this. So as a player, you have to understand what is going on. You must contribute. You must get your mindset to the point where you have to go in and be very serious about the sport or you won't be around. Okay, so the transfer portal opens on December 5th. Mm -hmm. December is a crazy month in the world of college football. Yeah. We have signing day happening towards the end of the month and of course bowl games. How much does the transfer portal opening early in December affect some of those bowl games? Well, it's going to kill some of the bowl games. We, now, we already have to deal with opt-outs. Every year, the past several years, you've had multiple players opting out of bowl games to preserve their health for the NFL draft in their mind. Now you have guys that are going to be entering the transfer portal. You're going to have mass exodus on rosters. You might have teams that only have three offensive linemen left on campus or two linebackers. It's not going to be safe for them to participate in bowl games. I expect to see certain bowl games get canceled, and bowl games are going to really have to take a look at their financial viability here moving forward with so many players moving around that time of year. How do we fix that? Can we fix that? That seems like a problem, right? I think with the bowl game model, the way that it is, I don't think that we can fix it. I think with the transfer portal, you're going to have to change the impact of some of the bowl games. It'll be a little more exciting as we move the 12 teams in the college football playoffs. So that will become more of an exciting thing. But there's going to be some longstanding bowls that have teams that get six, seven, eight wins that they're just not going to financially be able to keep up with teams continuing to pull out. Wow. That's another unintended consequence, unintended consequence of the transfer portal and the one-time transfer rule. Finally, you are a coach. Mm -hmm. You've had that experience. I think you were taking phone calls earlier today from players. What is your message when a player comes to you and says, hey, coach, I think I want to enter the portal? Slow down, take your emotions out of it, and just think about what you're about to do. You have to, number one, be honest with yourself. Have you put your best foot forward and given a maximum effort and been a productive ball player? You also have to deal with the fact that most likely you're going to drop a level. It's very rare for you to go from one SEC school to another SEC school. 
one power five to another power five? Are you prepared to go group of five? Are you going to be okay if you go FCS? You have to think these things through. More often than not, the best thing to do is to stay and continue to develop, work hard, build continuity with the coaches, and continue to improve as a player as you work towards your degree. But if you run out of there, be able to deal with the worst possible situation, and that's you could end up with nothing. Yeah, and I would listen to you because you make great points, and it is an emotional decision, and you do want to rely on people helping you out. But the rumors are swirling right now. We're hearing that this could be the most active transfer portal to date. Why do you think everything that's going on in college football right now is leading to potential chaos to start the month of December? Kids have a lot of people in their ears. You have a football coach that is a professional, but you're listening to your barber. You're listening to your uncle. Your uncle never played football. You need to make sure that you go talk to somebody that's qualified to give you good advice and that can really help you make a good decision because this is not an emotional thing. This is business, and you need to be honest with yourself. Everybody comes into this thing with the mindset that I'm going to make it to the National Football League when the truth is that ma the majority of you are never going to play a down in the NFL and you really need to take advantage of the fact that you're getting your education for free. And so what I always advise guys to do is be careful but also be man enough to deal with the consequences of the decisions that you make. Listen to this man. If you need advice, <laughs> we're not going to give out your phone number, <laughs> but you can go check him out on Twitter at, at Coach Reed Live. Carl, thank you so much for all your great insight. Thank you. <laughs>